what is up guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day today if you clicked on this video then you're wondering what i wondered right at the start when i was getting a dog what are furnishings and what is an unfurnished dog versus a furnished dog so in this video i'm going to be talking about the differences between the two how you can tell but before we get straight into it if you guys could hit the like button as it really helps in the youtube algorithm in spreading this video so that other people can potentially be informed by this too but let's get straight into to the topic. So the term furnishings refers to the long hair on the extremities of dogs, including head and tail, mustache, long eyebrows, etc. Some dog breeds are fixed for this trait, including the Airedale Terrier, while other dog breeds, it is very much variable. Furnishings can be very prominent in doodles in general. And again, furnishings are the longer facial hair, including eyebrows, mustache, and beard, compared to unfurnished, whereas most golden retrievers, they have shorter hair. It is very clean, very smooth. That is the difference between furnished and unfurnished. One thing to note is that the curly coated gene does not indicate furnishing or the lack thereof in a doodle or a poodle or any other dog breed that may have this trait. So the question brings up is like, how do you know if you're looking at puppies, if they are gonna be furnished or unfurnished when they grow up? And the best way to tell for the future is through a genetic test. So because it is a trait, it is a genetic trait, you can go through a genetic test and you can see if they actually have that gene, have that trait, and that will likely tell you whether or not your dog will be furnished or unfurnished. Another way to kind of tell whether your doodle, poodle, or any other dog breed that may have this trait is by seeing if they have a flat or straight coat. If their coat is flat or straight, then odds are their facial hair won't be as curly, they won't be as wavy and thus won't be furnished. And on another note, just so you guys know, the furnishing gene only impacts the bearding or facial hair of a dog. Unfurnished puppies have a smooth face. So I'm gonna put up two pictures right here, one with an unfurnished puppy and then a furnished puppy. And as you guys can see, the furnished puppy's hair is a lot curlier, a lot more poodle-like, so to speak. And this is one good way just by looking at the differentiating coats to see what is furnished and what is not furnished. On another side note, it is definitely a little bit harder when the puppies are at an early stage because they could have a puppy coat. I know Jackson, when he was at eight weeks of age up till like 10 or 12 weeks, he had straight hair. He didn't really have as much of a wavy type of coat. And I was a little bit curious into what it would evolve to because all puppies shed their puppy coat and their adult coats usually tend to come in around six months to a year but actually yeah as you guys can see now Jackson I mean it might be hard to see because he was just shaving like about a month ago Jackson's hair is a lot more wavy a lot more curlier than when he was a puppy just to let you guys know whether your dog is furnished or not that does not in any way affect the dog's health the dog's longevity or anything like that it is literally just how they look their appearance and of course no matter whether your dog is furnished or not they are still dogs they're still gonna love you no matter what and and hopefully you guys will love them too unconditionally. As a reminder, please hit that like button as it really means a lot to Jackson and me. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here too. Tell your dogs you love them. Jackson, I love you. Thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day. <laughs> so as you can see here, Jackson has furnishings right here. This is considered a furnished dog. Jackson is a furnished dog and he has a bit of a mustache. If you want, you could have a beard, but the hair is a little bit longer on top of his, around his nose area, and that's how you can tell that he's furnished. <laughs> 